Hey, what's up, everybody? I am the Wrestling Rundown Champion, and I'm here to give you guys my review for GFW Impact Wrestling for September 14th, 2017. And I'm just going to get right into this. We had Jeremy Borash and Josh Matthews on commentary for this show. And the show opens up with um, Lashley and America's Top Team arriving. And one of the production workers, I guess, was trying to get them to leave. And one of the American top teams chokes out the production worker. Uh, this was a dumb segment. Get in a down. Um, I really don't care about this Lashley American top team storyline. And then we had the first match on the show. It was Braxton Sutter with Ali versus Graza Jr. Uh, this was kind of a random match. This match did have a little bit of a storyline behind it because of what they did on two episodes ago. But um, to me, it just still felt random. The match itself wasn't bad or anything, but it was just random. Um, but it had some good stuff. Um, Braxton Sutter just kind of seems like he's just any generic wrestler, but he actually has got some talent when you actually saw, watch him wrestle. Uh, but pretty much the finish comes when Raza Jr. goes for a suicide dive on the outside, and Braxton Sutter ends up moving out of the way, and this distracts Raza Jr. And... Braxton Sutter tries to get the win with a sit-down gut wrench power bomb, and um, Graza Jr. kicks out. Then Graza Jr. hits a um, moonsault from the um, middle rope for the win. And then afterwards, Braxton Sutter and Ali get into an argument, and I don't know where the storyline is going. Uh, this match will get a thumbs in the middle, just because it wasn't a bad match, but it was there, but it was just there. But I didn't hate the match or anything, so that's what I think about that. Um, then we had the next match. It was an Impact Grand Championship match. Impact Grand Champion EC3, also known as Ethan Carter III, versus, um, El Hijo Del Fantasma. Um, you had the judges of, um, I have to look them up, actually. Um, I want to make sure I get them right. We have the judges of Scott. Some um, damn it, I forget a, uh, I forget the judge name. It doesn't say it here, but um, I forget the ju one of the judges' names. But the other two judges were Hector Guerrero, who was representing AAA, and Dutch Mantel. Um, I think the other judge's name was Scott DeMont or something. And while I like this match, I still hate the way they structure these Impact Grand Championship matches. If anything, the um the rounds really should be five minutes versus three minutes because you really don't get to do much within three minutes of a match. But um, I enjoyed this match. Um, EC3 hits the um, TK3, painted up a... Uh, um, El Hijo Fantasma on the top rope, and EC3 pretty much dominates the beginning portions of the matchup by uh, beating the crap out of him on the outside. And then the first round ends, and EC3 wins the first round um, each, um, by uh, 30 to 27. Um, then we have the second round, and El Hijo Del Fantasma um, ends up making a huge comeback in the second round. He pretty much dominated the second round. And then he wins the second round when he, he had gone for a submission move, but EC3, um, but the time ran out in the second round, so he, EC3 couldn't really tap out or anything. So he won the second round, uh, 30 to 27. And then the third round was pretty much back and forth, um, which I liked. El Hijo Del Fantasma hits a suicide dive, and then EC3 hits the one percenter uh, as El he. Um, as Ventasma was coming into the win, but he can't make it in time to make the cover before the round runs out. And um, then it goes to the judges, and Dutch Mantel uh, gives the win to, well, two of the judges, um, it was pretty much cut in half where each, uh, where it came down to, where it was a split decision. So it all came down to Hector Guerrero, and Hector Guerrero awards the third round to EC3. So EC3 won 
I think, 29 to 28. So EC3 retained his Impact Grand Championship. And afterwards, El Hijo Del Fantasma gets in Hector Guerrero's face and gets upset with him. And um, then EC3 and El um, Hijo Del Fantasma have a face off. And then we have the new superstar, um, Pagno, who was making his debut, who, who was that clown guy that was uh, being hyped up for weeks. He comes out and him and El, he, El Hijo Del Fantasma attack EC3. And then Eddie Edwards runs out to make the save. And they both end up standing tall, which we know what this means now. This means now we're going to get a Triple A versus GFW match in the future. Really not excited about that. Uh, but overall, I like this Impact Grand Championship match here. That we're getting up, but the fact that we're getting um, GFW versus um, AAA, I'm going to give it down. I'm all set with seeing that invasion angle. I don't want to see that at all. Um, then it shows a video package of LAX getting prepared for the uh, GFW um, tag team title match where Conan reveals that he, like, tried to stack the gets against him. Um, and, yeah, pretty much it ended up turning into a four fatal four-way match, and Homicide ended up helping LAX retain the titles. Um, I like that it, I like that they showed the video package and stuff, but I was kind of disappointed we didn't get to actually see the GFW um, Unified World Tag Team Championship match, so I'm going to give this match a thumbs in the middle. Uh, it was just really kind of there. Um, but OVE, like, tried to come back afterwards, and LEX kind of, like, scares him away. So, I, I'm, I figured OVE wouldn't win the titles yet, but, I, so I did like that they made it a four-way match to protect OVE. So, I'm just fine with that. Then we had the next match. It was Grado versus William Weeks. Grado won with a big boot. Um, this match was bad. Afterwards, he set, talks about how he has to now leave the United States of America, and then Joseph Paul comes out. And he said that now Polk, Polk, and Polk has opened um, um, a new sports management division. And um, he's making Grado his first signee, which means that he can stay in America now. And he signs his contract. And this is a down because if he could have just done this all along, why didn't he do this all along? Why did they waste their time doing that whole th stuff they were doing with him and Lowell Van Ness. That didn't make any goddamn sense. So this is a down. I hate this Grado storyline. And then uh, Mackenzie Mitchell interviews Johnny Impact. And pretty much Johnny Impact talks about how this match with Loki has been a dream match. And he said that he's going to defeat him tonight and take him to Slam City and become the number one contender for the GFW uh, Global World Heavyweight Championship. So I like this promo segment, Get In It, get in and Up. And afterwards, uh, Lashley and the America's Top Team goes backstage, and Lashley tells um, Jim Cornette that he wants to leave Impact with uh, GFW, GFW, and uh, Jim Cornette doesn't think it's a good idea, but it's what Lashley wants to do. He doesn't think it's a good idea because he thinks that Dan Lambert's just going to milk all of Lashley's money out of him, but Lashley says we'll, won't listen to him. So the only thing that uh, Lashley has to do with, to leave is he has to go out into the wind tonight and confront um, Moose, you know, because they've had an issue with each other since Moose eliminated him from the Gauntlet for Gold match um, and in the Gauntlet match in the at Triple A. So this segment wasn't good though. Get into down. Then we had a Falls Count Anywhere match for the X Division Championship. X Division Champion Sanjay Dutt versus Trevor Lee. Um, I thought this was a pretty good. Um, X Division Championship match. Um, Trevor Lee immediately knocks Sanjay Dutt off the apron and goes for and hits a kick right from the apron and goes for a cover. Sanjay Dutt kicks out. He throws him into the guardrail and then Sanjay Dutt throws him into the guardrail. Hits a cross body block while Sa Trevor Lee was sitting down in a chair. Goes for a cover. Trevor Lee kicks out and then the match kind of goes into the win. Trevor Lee hits a superplex from the um from the top from the top rope. Um, Sanjay Dutt kicks out. One spot I did like was when Sanjay Dutt went to throw in a steel chair. Um, Trevor Lee ended up just throwing out the chair anyway uh, himself um, on the other side, which I thought was funny. And then they end up uh, brawling on the outside. Uh, they blow into the crowd. 
Uh, Sanjay Dutt hits a wicked kick, and then they blow backstage. And Caleb Conley attacks uh, Sanjay Dutt on the outside. Um, and Trevor Lee and Caleb Conley both take turns hitting um, Sanjay Dutt simultaneously. Caleb Conley kept hitting him with a trash can blade, and Trevor Lee hit him with a trash can itself. He, Trevor Lee went for a cover. So, um, he ended up kicking out. And then Sanjay Dutt hit, hit Trevor Lee off the head with a trash can lid. And they ended up hitting a DDT like right off a wall. Went for a DDT right off the wall, but he ended up getting hung up on balls first on a guardrail. And then Caleb Conley hit him again with a trash can. And Trevor Lee rolled him up and got the win. And he became the new X Division champion. Um, I like this match here. If I had to rate it, I'll probably give it a three and a half stars. And I thought the right person kind of went over in the end. And I liked that the match actually followed through with the step and actually ended somewhere else. It ended backstage. So I thought this match was really good. Um, then America's top team attacks uh, Richard Justice. And it, it says, pretty much this website says it all for no reason. So, yeah. Then a sort of series for Global Forged, which is going to be like a new series. Um, on ImpactWrestling.com. It actually looks pretty good. It's pretty much uh, WWE's version of Tough Enough or what TNA was doing back with uh, British Boot Camp. I may watch it. I'm not sure yet. Then we had Taya Valkyrie versus Amber Nova. It was a squash match. Taya Valkyrie wins with a straight jacket face buster. And yeah, this gets an up. I thought this made Taya Valkyrie look pretty strong and it was good. Um. Then Eli Jake and Chris Adonis cut a promo backstage talking about how two dummies are fighting for the right to face him at uh, GFW Victory Road for the GFW Global World Heavyweight Championship. And all that's going to happen is that he's just going to make beat them and make them look like a bunch of dummies. I thought um, Eli Drake and Chris Adonis cut a good promo here getting an up. Then we had the uh, GFW Global World Heavyweight Championship uh, number one contenders match, Low Key versus Johnny Impact. Overall, I thought this was a really good match here. Um, the low key targets the edge of leg a lot of Johnny Impact, but then eventually the finish comes when low key misses a Warrior's Way, and Johnny Impact hits the Starship Pain for the win, and Johnny Impact became number one contender. Afterwards, Eli Drake comes out, and Johnny Impact gets attacked from behind by Chris Adonis. He puts him in the Adonis lock, and then Eli Drake lays him out with the um, Gravy Train. And overall, I like this. And then afterwards, he cuts a promo backstage um, and says that he's going to be champion forever. And that's not an insult. That's just a fact of life. And I like this. I like So I liked his promo backstage. That would get an up. And I like this segment here. It was good. I don't know why this couldn't main event the show, um, considering the fact what did main event the show. And then backstage, um, Taya Valkyrie goes up to uh, Karen Jarrett and tells her to watch what she does in GFW. This was a bad. I'll give it like a thumbs in the middle. Then Lashley's in the win, and he pretty much just reinforces. Well, before that, Jim Cornette tried to get Lashley to reconsider again, but he refused to. So that was segment. We'll get it down. And then Lashley gets on the mic and says that he's choosing to leave professional wrestling because uh, he feels like he's not really being treated well here, and he can go uh, dominate MMA. But he calls out Moose. Moose comes out. They get into a brawl. Lashley clotheslines him outside the win. Then he hits a clothesline on the outside, hits a power bomb on the outside to Moose, which looked like it was kind of sloppy. Then he went for a spear. Moose ended up hitting a big boot, and they blow out in the crowd. Um, and Moose, uh, they hit each other with trash cans. Moose hit a pump kick and then a spear on the outside on Lashley. Then he was about to finish off Lashley. But then America's top team comes out and chokes out Moose and attacks the security. And then that was pretty much it. And I hated this segment. Uh, it was going very well up until America's Top Team got involved. I hate the America's Top Team. They're not. They really, they really bring nothing to the show. I don't know why they're doing this. They're not on Spike TV anymore. They don't have to promote MMA anymore. So this is a dumb storyline. Um, I, I may, and, and I was enjoying Moose and Lashley's ball. So I guess we're gonna get a match between Lashley and Moose. And I don't know what the tie-in of America's top team is going to be. I guess they're going to help Lashley win. Because they're trying to say that this is Lashley's last show, but I don't think it is. Um, so, whatever. 
This actually was a, ended up being, though, a decent episode of Impact. Um, I didn't hate this episode at all. I thought it was decent. Um, I liked uh, the X Division match. I liked the GFW uh, number one contenders match. Uh, I liked the knockouts match. I like, was enjoying the main event until America's top team got involved. I didn't really care for like stuff like Braxton Sutter versus Graza Jr. While I didn't hate the match, just um, was pointless. And I didn't like that we didn't get to see the tag title match. They advertised we were going to see it, and we really didn't see it, much of it. We just saw highlights of it. I wanted to see the whole match. And I also didn't, didn't like anything they did with the America's Top Teen. And obviously, everybody knows how I feel about that great old storyline. So. But it was still ended up being a decent episode. But that's pretty much my review. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and share this video so people will watch it. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more content. And click on the bell so that way every time I upload a video, you guys will get the notifications for it. Make sure you guys do the same thing for my Owen the Talkinator and CM Brothers channel. And that's pretty much it, guys. Talk to you later.